No answer. We wasted our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. The guy's taking a break from reality, holed up here in this crazy apartment. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. I guess Blake's trying to break him, but what good is a confession what is he if he does? Nathaniel? 
I can't. I gotta stop Blake. He's going too far. Let's talk about it. He orders you to go Blake, and find new what are prey, you doing? doesn't he? He needs more and more. Maybe Blake knows what he's doing after all. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! He told you to go and find that kid in the park! The voices tormented you all night long! You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them, to make them stop! You took that boy with you and you drowned That's him! That's enough! Isn't that Leave right? him alone! Oh. No! Shit! Stop. Blake is totally out of his mind! I can't just stand around and do nothing! Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist! Put down the gun, I shall Daniel. you to your father in hell! He is the son of Satan! He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us! For Christ's sake, shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Gently put the gun down on the floor. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Back away, slowly. Drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Motherfucker! In the name of the Lord. I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would've just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. <laughs> Maybe not, but most of the time it helps.